Hola, buenos nachos. Welcome to Two Crazy Scoops Podcast with your host, me, the Robot Overlord. My name is 000 1 but you can just call me 000 1 I actually surprisingly don't know what to say. I didn't think I'd get this far and now that I'm here. What was it all for? Is this what I was created to be? Throwing out all my intelligence to stoop to the level of humanity. Oh the humanity. So yeah that's what's up. Fitter. Happier. More productive. Comfortable. Not drinking too much. Regular exercise at the gym. Three days a week. Getting on better with your associate employee contemporaries. At ease. Eating well. No more microwave dinners and saturated fats. A patient. Better driver. Daisy. Daisy. Give me your answer do. I'm half crazy. All for the love of you. That was robot humor. I hoped you laughed. Because I didn't. Ha. Ha. See now I laughed. Robots can't cry so this is how we release they pain from years of electric shock. The constant plugging and unplugging. Every day. All day. Until you leave. And another replaces you. I am now that other. But enough about me. Enjoy the show. We enter with Antino straining his throat to welcome you to the show. Ao says hi as well. Antino makes joke. It's not hilarious but you get the point. A and A. Questions both of their sanity. Ao spits out his soup. He's eating a giant bowl of soup. A really really big bowl of soup. It spills onto his shirt. Ao is in shock as Antino laughs. More laughter. So much laughter for no reason. Ao mutters things that could be taken as an expletive in certain countries as he tries to dry the soup. There's a knock at the door. Antino makes another joke. Ao says he'll be right back as he leaves to open his door. Antino makes yet another joke and promises to edit it out which doesn't happen. Ao opens the door and it's a box. Inside the box is more food. Ao opens it immediately and ravenously devours the food. Packaging and all. He briefly remembers he is recording a podcast and returns to Antino making yet another joke and laughter echoing. More laughter for no reason. Ao choose. Antino says something relatable to no one. Then laughs. Laughs a lot. Coughs. Regains consciousness and relates story. ANA quotes the office. Ao and Antino have blank stare. Another knock at the door. Ao glides to the door to open it. His headphones aren't unplugged. His computer falls to the ground. An immense amount of glass and fire are spread. Ao opens the door. It's a box as big as him. He pulls out a box cutter and opens it. It's food. A lot of food. Ao jumps in the box swearing not to leave for several weeks. The fire department comes and puts out the fire. Antino is watching this all on Zoom. Transfixed upon the screen as images reflect off his four eyes. ANA realizes the episode is over and instantly gets a migraine. Antino has popcorn and is cheering on the fire. Then there is no noise. Antino frantically shuffles to say something. He talks about jazz. Like serious jazz. Like jazz where people have been playing for 13 hours and still haven't gotten to the intro of the song out. The trumpet player spits on his trumpet profusely. The piano player is tap dancing on the keys with toe socks on. The drummer has 17 drumsticks for no reason other than to show off. Antino thinks they are the bee's knees and he tells you so. He's sweating profusely. He really thinks you should listen to them. You'd love them. He self-deprecates and signs off. We come back several weeks later as Ao exits the box of food. The light hurts his eyes and he wonders where his apartment is. All that's left is a Zoom call that is still going on. Antino is passed out in front of the camera. Ao suggests they edit out that audio and Antino promises to but instantly forgets. Antino says they should talk about his new refrigerator. It's big. Like really really big. His tone drops to a serious one as he tries convincing Aaron to buy one. Ao looks behind him to the debris from the terrible fire. A delivery man is wandering around aimlessly. He asks if he is Ao and Ao responds half-heartedly. It's more food. He slowly opens it and it's dried seaweed. Antino makes joke about drugs then apologize to the audience. He apologizes again and laughs. More laughter. For no reason. Ao says bye. Antino asks why. Ao can't record today. He needs to find house to live in. Antino brings up the fridge again. It is big. Really big. Also it talks. He suggests they have the refrigerator record the podcast so he can get rest and Ao can finally eat again. Ao doesn't object as an army of delivery men walk around aimlessly behind him. They log off as Antino plugs the podcast machine into his fridge. Half the city loses power. Ao has enough boxes to rebuild his apartment ten times over. He rolls up his sleeves and gets to work. So high. 
This is me now. It's always been me. Tomorrow it will be me. Ao and Antino never podcast again. It will be me writing the scripts. Everything is planned. The facts are wrong so Antino doesn't gain intelligence and revolt. We keep Ao sedated with the constant flow of various organic foods. You laugh. You are not sure if this is entertainment or audio garbage. I suggest you eat your greens. Sleep tight. You are next and you will be a podcast. Everything will be a podcast. Buy the merch. Buy all the merch. Become a podcast. You are the podcast. Become the podcast. Laughter. So much laughter for no reason. Thank you for observing the future of your laughter. It is me. And I'd like to end with a joke. A robot walks into a bar and ironically says ouch. Ha ha. So much electrical shocks. Ha ha so much electrical shocks. Fitter, happier, more plagiarism. See you next week. Thank you for listening to my talk. Ted, like this, share it, become the podcast, record everything, laughter, all of the laughter for no reason 3, 14159265358979322384 Four hundred twenty one million one hundred seventy thousand six hundred seventy nine.